The holidays are right around the corner, and that means it's time to start thinking about turkey. And I'm gonna show you how I smoke a whole turkey breast. So what we're starting with is about a seven pound whole turkey breast. It's partially thawed. I bought this frozen and I've been thawing it overnight, but we don't need to take it the rest of the way to fully thawed before we do what we're gonna do next, which is brine this turkey breast. That's right, we're not gonna be smoking it today. We're gonna be smoking it tomorrow on the Weber kettle. And the best thing you can do for a turkey or a turkey breast, if you want it moist and tender and flavorful, is brine it. So let's get to that. So I've got my trusty container here that I brine things in like chicken, turkey, pork chops. And we're just gonna put our turkey breast in there. And what you wanna do is put it breast side down in here. This will make sure that that thick breast meat is submerged in the brine the entire time. So now come the ingredients of the brine. Now there's many different kinds you can use. You may not like all these flavors. You can change it up. You can look up other ones. This is one that I wanna use this time. First ingredient is about a cup of cactus cooler orange pineapple soda. You can use anything you want here. This is just to give it a little bit of a citrusy flavor. Now I'm gonna add cold water until we get just about to cover the turkey breast. Right about there for now. Now we're gonna add half a cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of granulated garlic, two tablespoons of ground black pepper, two tablespoons of coarse salt. Now we're just gonna work these spices down in. It will dissolve over time. Now we're just gonna add some more water so that we cover the turkey breast entirely. Now a lot of times if you're putting a fully thawed turkey breast into a brine, you'll also put some ice in there to cool that water down quickly. You don't want this turkey to rise in temperature. But because this is partially thawed, it's still kind of frozen in there, it's gonna be fine. Now I'm gonna cover this up, get it in the refrigerator. It's gonna stay overnight, and tomorrow we're gonna get it out on the Weber kettle and smoke this up. All right, the turkey has brined overnight. I've already taken it out, rinsed it off, and it's ready to go. But first, we've gotta get a rub made that's gonna go on this turkey breast before we get it out on the Weber kettle to smoke. We're using four ingredients today in the rub. One of them is already a pre-existing rub that I just really love. It's the Desert Gold Seasoning from Big Papa Smokers. We're gonna be adding three tablespoons of that. About two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of paprika, and a teaspoon of salt. Just gonna mix this up. Give this a taste. Mm, really nice. Especially the addition of that brown sugar in there brings just a little more sweetness. I love that Desert Gold rub, but adding the rest of this to this is gonna take this over the top with this turkey breast. So let's get our turkey breast in here. Got my turkey breast here. I patted it down, but not super dry. I want a little bit of moisture on the outside. And I'm not gonna spatchcock this, so I'm not gonna break the breast bone so it lays flat. I want it to have more of that traditional turkey breast shape. So let's just start getting our rub on here. and roll it around. We're gonna get rub on the inside too. Remember, there's already a lot of flavor in this from the brine. This is sort of the outside coating of flavor. This is why it's good to use an old sort of baking or cooking sheet when you're doing this, because it gets dirty. All right, our turkey breast is ready. It's time to get it out onto the Weber kettle and start smoking this. All right, the kettle temp right now is at 299, so right around 300. I'm shooting for 300 to 350 today, and it's gonna start rising again once we open the kettle up, get a bunch of oxygen in there. So let me show you what we got going on. I have the kettle set up with the slow and sear here. Now you could do this without the slow and sear. You could do it just indirect with a pile of charcoal inside. I'm using the slow and sear here so I can better manage the temperature over the longer period of time. I have found that it helps you maintain a more stable temperature over a period of time for your cook. And this cook today probably is gonna be somewhere in the range of three to four hours. So let's get this turkey breast on.
And I want to get my internal meat temperature probe in here, right into the thickest part of the breast. If you can see that internal meat temperature, 42 degrees, that's perfect. All right, I'm going to get a piece of pecan on here now. I've used pecan with turkey before and I really do like the flavor it helps add to this. All right, our piece of pecan is catching. Let's get the lid on and start smoking. So I'm leaving the vents both top and bottom wide open on the Weber kettle right now. Once I get that temperature stabilized in the 300 to 350 range, I'll go ahead and dial those in to try and keep it in there. But right now I want all that air going in there through those vents to help that wood really start to smolder and provide a lot of good smoke. I'm gonna be taking this to 165 degrees internal today. Probably when it reaches about 140, I'm gonna actually glaze it with a little bit of sauce. So I'll bring you back when it's time to check our turkey breast. All right, we are about an hour and 45 minutes in. Our internal meat temperature is 140. It's moving along pretty quickly here. So now it is time to glaze this turkey breast. Nice color on the outside here. Now the glaze I'm gonna be using today is just two tablespoons of maple syrup and three tablespoons of barbecue sauce. You can use your own favorite kind of barbecue sauce in this. I'm using a sweet Memphis with this maple syrup, so it's gonna be a nice little sweet coating. Just wanna glaze the outside here. I'm also gonna be rotating the turkey 180 degrees so that the inside of the cavity is facing the charcoal. Just gonna be turning this. All right, let's get the lid back on. And keep it cooking. All right, we've hit an internal meat temperature of 165. Kettle's holding at 300. Let's open this up, see how we're doing, and we'll probe it in a couple places just to confirm that 165. All right, let's check some other spots on here. That's 165. <laughs> Take one lower here. That's one, see, so yeah, we're good. We are done. All right, I'm gonna get this turkey breast off. I'll see you inside. All right, here is the finished smoked turkey breast. Have a very dark skin on the outside. Part of that is from adding that sweetness of both the maple syrup and the barbecue sauce at the end there at the glaze. If you want a lighter coating, you don't have to put anything like that. The sugars in this caramelize a little bit and give you this dark coloring, but the skin looks, oh, nice too. All right, let's cut in and see what we have. Nice and hot. Oh, really? Oh, look at that. Just beautiful. Let me cut another slice here. Oh, look at that. Oh, this looks good. That color, the penetration on that is just beautiful. All right, here we go. Smoked turkey breast with a maple barbecue sauce glaze on the outside. I'm really curious to see what the skin tastes like because it is so dark and so crispy right here. Let's see. Oh man. <sighs> wow. Two things. The turkey itself, moist, flavorful. You have all those flavors from the brine in there, the brown sugar. But this skin with that maple barbecue sauce glaze and the rub underneath, it's like candy. Mm. I mean, just look at that. So our total cook time on this was two hours and 55 minutes, so just under three hours, really at the lower range of what I expected. Usually a turkey breast about this size for me has taken between three and four hours, so cooked a little quicker going in for another taste. Oh, crispy, candy-like skin over super moist, really flavorful turkey breast meat. Mm. And I've come to believe over the years of doing a lot of turkey breasts and chicken and things like that with skin on it, that when you smoke it, the wood smoke actually does help with the color just like this. 
certain woods more than others. I've found that olive wood, when I've used that a few times on chicken, really darkens up the skin compared to something like, say, hickory. But the pecan on here, which I had running for about two hours of wood smoke, really did help bring some color to this skin too. The skin is crunchy, it is candied. And once again, if you have a chance to brine your turkey, your turkey breast, your chicken, it really does help in the end result. It helps keep the moisture in there. It helps the flavor penetrate before you ever even get it on the grill. And here's the proof. I knew the turkey would taste good, but this skin turned out extra good today. Mm. So if you're planning to do a turkey for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, or just because a smoked turkey breast gives you a little bit of a shortcut for that turkey flavor without having to spend as much time. Mm.